McLean. Playing the ball to Gabriel Sarra. Here is Sargent, 25 yards out. Puki lays it back here to Aaron Ramsey, who rolls it into the penalty area, and Sargent tries to give it back to Ramsey, who goes down. No foul is given. Gibbs picks up the pieces for Norwich City, who are still on the attack. Sarah rolls it to the left wing. McLean, the makeshift left back, is there for Norwich. On to Sarah, crossing opportunity, and it comes, and it's dealt with at the near post by Luton. Luton on the attack though at Carra Road at the moment, cutting in from the left-hand side, the ball shifted to Onya Dinma, up towards the edge of the penalty area, Onya Dinma into the area, as a shot across the face of goal, it runs through the six-yard box in front of Carlton Morris and behind for a goal kick. Carlton Morris in the penalty area, gets away from Liam Gibbs, crosses, and Cornick wasn't far away. Carlton Morris too strong for Liam Gibbs there as that ball went uh, across the face of goal. Now there's space for Gibbs in the midfield, he comes forward, finds uh, Sarah 25 yards out, he's going to hit one that uh, clears the crossbar fairly comfortably, but after 20 minutes of not much in front of goal, I think uh, the Norwich fans uh, are here uh, applauding the, the endeavour and the, the ambition rather than uh, worrying too much about whether there was a better pass on. 25 minutes played, nil-nil, Norwich yet to really create a, a goal-scoring opportunity in this game. McLean trying to change that up towards uh, Ramsey, who controls the ball on his chest, feels for handball from a couple of the Luton players. Sarah finds McLean on the left-hand side. Uh, McLean taking on the full-back, playing it to uh, Ramsey. On quickly now to Sinani, 25 yards out. Puki rolls it into the penalty area. It falls for Sargent, who gets Norwich's first shot on target, and it's beaten away by the goalkeeper. Powerful effort from Sargent, who is a man in form and a man full of confidence, and there's only one thing on his mind there. opening he's had he was closed down really quickly looking pretty impressive defensively in the first part of this game and Puki although he had possession and although he was bearing down on the penalty area he never really got away yellow and green they are attacking the Barkley end Luton mainly in a white kit bit of an orange trim around the sleeves of the shirts and Norwich winning the ball back high up the field it's a nice first touch from Campbell onto Ramsey who's bearing down on the edge of the penalty area he's in the box just knocked off his stride but he manages to keep it going finding Sarah to the left of goal his cross Puki can't get there Sinani can it's a wild finish uh, swings at it and it goes wide of the post but Norwich there doing something in the first minute of the second half that they struggle to do in 45 in the first half and that's open Luton up nil nil Norwich coming forward, attacking the Barkley end. McLean looking to find Puki, but it's been cut out well by Bree. This Luton defence not missing much at all, are they? Gibson kicks the ball high up the field there, does well to find Ramsey. It's quickly on to Puki. Campwell now collects on the left hand side. On to Gabriel Sarra, who gives it to Ramsey, left corner of the penalty area. Ramsey hits a shot there. Oh, it's dipping, not far away, just over the top. Well, people, I think Ethan Horvath will feel that he had it covered, but Aaron Ramsey not far away from what would have been his first Norwich goal there. Luton getting a double substitution ready. Ben Gibson taking a touch on halfway, very nearly losing possession. In fact, he has now lost it, and Luton sends a chance. Here's Carlton Morris, up towards the edge of the Norwich penalty area he goes. The former Canary youngster makes room for the shot and scores! It's Carlton Morris who refuses to celebrate against his former club, but that was such a well-taken goal from a player in form. He was able to steal possession after a poor touch from Ben Gibson, take it into the penalty area, and he kept his cool remarkably, waited for the chance to open up, and then just rolled it past Angus Gunn into the corner of the net, and Norwich City, having lost their last two league games, are in real trouble at Carra Road. It's Norwich nil, Luton 1. it for Norwich City, they will have to play with urgency now, Norwich, Hanley is taking the ball by the horns and coming forward and finding Gabriel Sarra, who's 25 yards out, he's going to hit a deflected oh, shot, oh. Oh. and it hit the post and the goalkeeper got something on it and wide it goes and a corner's been given, that was not far away from a spectacular Norwich City equaliser right when they needed it. Now Norwich trying to respond, Sarah with a corner from the left-hand side, curls it in towards Gibson and McLean, 
Referee has spotted coming. something, and then there's a red card coming out. Yeah. Ben Gibson, is it? An elbow, but it looks like. Who's just been and sent the referee off? Didn't red card hesitate. has come out. The referee brandished a red card. There's lots of Norwich players in there. Down has gone one of the Luton players as the corner came in. It's, it's Kenny McLean who's been shown the red card. There's a, a coming together inside on the edge of the six-yard box. Lockyer, I think it is, for Luton. It's clashing with McLean. We're seeing it again. The two of them are grappling, as teams often do, for corners. And he just goes off the picture, and then there is a clash, isn't there? It's really difficult to see from that replay, but the referee was looking straight at it, and he didn't hesitate. Lockyer's gone down holding his eye, and the... Red card has come straight out for Kenny McLean. He's been sent off, and Norwich are now 1-0 down and down to 10 men. <laughs> Nunez finds Janulis on the left-hand side. Puki's made a good run, smart run. Into the penalty, here it goes, Timo Puki for Norwich City! And he's put it wide. And he kicks out at fresh air in frustration. That's the best opening he's had. Difficult chance, he's to the left of goal, but he got it onto his right foot, the sort of position we've certainly seen him score from before, and he tried to angle it into the far corner, and he's put it wide.